Hello and welcome to the Worldwide Markets Forex Weekly Wrap. It is March 15th, 2013. Uh, we're going to jump right in and start with the Euro dollar. Uh, Euro dollar has pretty much been continuing to go sideways. Uh, we have not seen any major moves pretty much since the beginning of March. Um, you know, if you look here, the two red lines that we have illustrating uh, your range of 29.50 to about 31 and these are representing the closes on the daily chart you know we've had a little bit of you know some wicks and some outliers here but nothing is is closing outside this range so for the euro dollar i, I really want to see this you know break out uh one way or the other give us some indication of where it's going to go uh you know before we start to trade it again uh, one of the other things that we talked about earlier in the week was gold. Uh, you know, we had talked about it around when it was at 1580. It's at 1590. I still like short on gold. Um, you know, going into next week, as long as we stay below 1600, 1620, I still think there are weaker days ahead and you know more correction uh, that that's going to happen. You know, before uh, the buyers come back into the market. And the level that you want to keep your eyes on here is your 1526 and 1554 levels. If it does break to the downside, uh, you know if you get breaks through either one of those levels, you could see some large moves. Uh, to the upside, 1620 is pretty much the uh, stop loss that I would have. You know it's above some some other resistance, and if you break out above that, you know you could see some renewed vigor in gold. But, um, you know, same as the euro, we're going sideways. You know, we're getting a few, you know, a few points up, a few points down. But uh, for now, nothing, uh, nothing major. Aussie dollar, on the other hand, has, you know, has kind of been leading the charge. Uh, you know, you've seen the Aussie, you know, gaining strength against the U.S. dollar over the course of the last couple of weeks. Uh, we were at 101. 101 at the beginning of the month, we're, you know, we closed out the week at 104. We're sitting right here on the 61.8% uh, uh, FIB level on the four-hour chart. And we want to see what happens. You know, I think sooner or later gold's going to break out. That's going to that's going to move the Aussie as well. And if we get uh, some more Aussie strength and that pops that 61.8% FIB level, uh, that could also move the you know move the gold charts. Uh, one of the other things that I want to take notice of also is the yen. Uh, we have some longer term charts here. This is a weekly chart on the yen, the dollar yen, simply because since the end of last year, uh, you know, since August, September last year, the yen, the dollar has been going straight up against the yen. Uh, you know, we've gone, we went from, we were at 77.20 all the way up to 95. I mean, there are periods of time for weeks and months that the yen was in a 200 pip range. So, you know, we broke out of that range and, you know, now we've just been doing nothing but climbing. Yeah, we've seen some, some pullbacks, but, you know, it's not closing at these levels and it's still continuing to, uh, you know, to go up. This is the first, the second down week that we've seen uh, since the end of last year. So we wanted to see some some levels that we'd be looking at. You know, here at 94, we have a 38% retracement level on a on a longer term chart, uh, backing all the way down to uh, the swing high in in 2007. And then the next target, I guess, on the on the Fib charts is your is pretty much your 100 level. So. You know, we want to see what happens. You know, since this is the second week, we'll see if it resumes its upward move or if you know we'll we'll see some pullback and you know profit taking uh, on those that are you know long dollar yen. And then the other yen chart that we're going to take a look at is the euro yen. Uh, once again, you know, plenty of Japanese weakness here. Uh, Euro strength. You know, we see a little bit of a double top that's starting to form. You know, we'll see what happens uh, next week, and you know, if this thing continues to drift down, you know, we're eyeing 118, 
170 to 119.70 as a range to see if it breaks through. Uh, if it does, you know, then we'll see a little bit of a trend reversal. If not, you know, you have your 23.6% Fib level here that you know you didn't get a close below when it did pull back. So you know we'll pretty much waiting to see if it approaches that or if we'll you know see a renewed strength in the euro versus the yen and the dollar versus the yen uh, as we go into next week. That is all for this week. Uh, this is the Worldwide Markets Weekly Wrap-Up. It is Friday, March 15th. We will see you guys next week. Enjoy your weekend. Good luck with your trading.